Hey everybody, it's Samantha. And today I'm gonna show you how to hook up your Xbox One controller to the computer and get it to work with Black Desert. Because I've seen some videos and I haven't seen on one video show you how to actually hook your computer, I mean hook your controller up to the laptop. So that's what we're gonna do today. So you see I have my Black Desert already loaded here because I didn't want uh, to keep you guys waiting too long by loading it. But what, you're, what you wanna do is you want to open up the Bluetooth settings on your computer and the way that I did that I just hit the Windows key and this works with Windows 10 you should be able to do the same thing for um, Windows 8 or Windows 7 but I was able to do this with Windows 10 so we're gonna go to your Bluetooth which should be down here at the bottom next to your Wi-Fi and then you would tap on Bluetooth and you're gonna tap on show Bluetooth devices now, I already had my controller hooked up, but I went ahead and disconnected my controller. I went ahead and turned it off. Um, and so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unpair it. As soon as I find my mouse, there we go. I'm going to remove it. Yep, I'm sure. Okay, so once you do that, what you're going to do on the controller itself, you want to go ahead and turn it on. Turn it on. Come on. And as soon as you turn it on, you're going to hold down the sync button until it starts blinking. Once it starts blinking, then you're going to go ahead and tap on add Bluetooth and then Bluetooth again and wait. might take a little while here but you just want to wait until your laptop or computer can detect your Xbox controller and there it is okay even though it says input okay yep sometimes it might change it sometimes it would just say input but as long as you have that little gaming icon right here you should be fine we're gonna tap on that we're gonna connect it, and when it's connected, the light will turn solid. You will get a notification saying that it's setting it up, and it will say your device is ready to go. So we're gonna hit done, right? So it says it's connected. If it says it's connected, that means it's ready to go. It's gonna work. Device is ready. All right, let's, let's test it out. Now we want this to work on Black Desert, do we not? I already have it connected, so I'm actually able to turn it around and do all that great stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get it to work. So we're gonna hit start or hit pause or however you pause your game. And we're gonna go into the settings. When you're in settings, we're gonna go to interface. When you're in interface, you wanna go to gamepad interface. So this is probably what everybody else has showed you. So they did not show you the first part of how to connect your controller to the con to the PC. Anyway, you want to make sure that settings for your gamepad is on and that use gamepad is also on. Don't worry about these other functions here. Then you're going to go ahead and tap on action hotkeys and you're going to change the hotkeys from keyboard to gamepad. Now, when you're changing your um, hotkeys, these are basically the main keys that you will, that you will be using. You know, basic function functions like moving around, fighting, stuff like that. Combination key and one. These are additional keys that you can use. Uh, for an example, you have function two and D-pad right. To uh, for my awakening, this is not the controls I had set up, but whatever. Um, I haven't played this in a while, so my controls went back to normal. Um, but to change your settings, all you would have to do is just tap on the key. Try not to tap on anything else. And since it was set for le left bumper, I'm going to do left bumper. And it shows up right there. As soon as I click the left bumper, it showed up right there. And that's how you're going to do all the other keys. So your hotkeys, your shortcuts, all of it will be from right here. Any additional ones, like the quick slots, that would be done here. Like to pull up your map and all that stuff that's located on the bottom of your screen for Black Desert. 
but you want to make sure in every single slot you have gamepad selected no i'm not worried about that you have gamepad selected the mouse interface you don't really have to worry about that if it's on it's cool if this is on it's cool but as long as you have the gamepad hooked up you should have no problem with having the um controller work now after you make all these changes you want to hit apply because if you don't it's not going to save your information and then you want to hit confirm that was confirmed this thing is just blocking the way but other than that i'm able to move my controller around i can fight i can jump around i can it's hard to do it when i just have a phone on me but um i can jump around i can i can fight And I'm actually pressing buttons. Okay. And uh, that's that's how you do it. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, you would have to mess around with it a little bit just to make sure that you know you are um, getting everything correct and everything works out for you. But that's how you do it. That's how you hook up your Xbox Xbox One controller to the PC. Now a way that you know that it's Bluetooth and you can use it is that the newer controllers have the plastic around on the uh, on the front. So I don't know if you guys can see that but right here you have like the hard plastic and then you have the basic plastic on the front of it. If it looks similar to this you can use Bluetooth on it. It's really simple. You can either use Bluetooth or you can um, plug it in directly via USB. Other than that, once again, I'm Samantha, bringing you some awesome videos. Add me on Xbox One, Suki Moon 18. Add me on PC if you want. That's not my name. But you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to be on PC. I hope you guys have a lovely day. <laughs>